I wasn't going to become a nun. <laughs> my, I had a good friend in high school. My friend Angie wanted to be a sister. And she would say, Sue, come, because the nuns at that point would host a supper. And I went supporting Angie. And in the middle of my college year, something began to stir inside. This is more, there's more than this to your life. But it, one of the sisters said to me at one point, had I ever thought of being a sister, and I hadn't. But you know when somebody says something and it kind of gets in your head and then later on I'm knocking at the door saying, can we talk about that? What would that look like? We're all consecrated by our baptism. And uh, our religious life or consecrated life uh, in our case is a special call. For me, well, religious life is my response to that special call from God. Uh, I pledge my fidelity in the context of a sacred a sacred uh, environment or a, a sacred context, mm -hmm. I, play, I, I give my life over mm -hmm. to God so that I do what God wills and I try to be conscious of God's, God's will in my life and, and not mine. Marguerite Bourgeois really responded to the unmet needs of the time. When she first came to Canada, she thought she would teach, but there really weren't students around. So. She did a lot of presence with families and uh, single men, single women. She was able to do what needed to be done, even though it may not have been what she had planned to do. I mean, I've studied, the, the community asked me to study theology. The community asked me to work in Cameroon for two years. The, the invitations that I've received because of, of my religious life, because of the consecrated life, um, it's just been, it's been an adventure, you know, with the community and with ministry and with prayer. I, I get the graces I need at the time to respond to the challenges. You know, just the fact that you're a sister. You represent something about God, about morals, about, you know. Mm -hmm. if, if you read Marguerite's biography, she's always talking about Mary being there with the apostles, educating them so they can do their work that they're supposed to do. And so Margaret saw Mary there at the beginning of the church. She saw Mary doing what she herself was doing in Montreal. She was there at the birthing of the Canadian church. And I see us, if we're being faithful to Margaret, being there for the birthing that's trying to happen today. I mean, I, I do believe that God continues to call people. I do believe that God, women and men, I mean, whether it be married life or single life, but consecrated life is an option, and I think that it takes very courageous people these days, but they are out there. Mm -hmm.